This story takes place back in the 1800s. It's about Sarah and Angelina Grimke. They're two sisters who live in South Carolina. Now their father, he is a lawyer, but also he fought in the Continental Army during the revolution. So he is a hero, but also he is filthy rich. And he owns a large plantation with many slaves. Now these slaves work in the fields, but they also serve meals to Sarah and Angelina and tend to the sisters' needs. As the sisters get older, they grow to hate the practice of slavery. So yeah, they speak out, enraging their parents and all of their friends in South Carolina. But that does not stop the sisters. Oh no, they continue to speak up, embarrassing their parents. And even more embarrassing, the sisters leave home. Oh! <gasps> Now back in the 1800s, ladies do not leave home unless you get married, of course. So when Sarah and Angelina pack their bags, they leave South Carolina and they land here in Philadelphia where they become Quakers. Now if that is not bold enough, these two sisters continue to speak out louder and louder about the evils of slavery. They join abolitionist groups, they travel, and they also write impassioned letters including one letter sent to the abolitionist newspaper called The Liberator. This letter states, Slavery ought to be abolished in the whole United States, and this is a cause worth dying for. Now, this letter causes a sensation, and it gives the publisher of that newspaper, his name is William Lloyd Garrison, it gives him an idea. He says, hmm, Sarah and Angelina, Maybe you two should go on a lecture tour where you speak for your experiences with slavery. Why you hate it, why it ought to be abolished. He knew that this would cause a sensation because, again, this is the 1800s. And ladies are meant to be seen, but not heard. So Sarah and Angelina, oh, they totally agree. They speak in New York, New England, they come down to... Philadelphia, the final stop on their tour. So it's May 16th of 1838, and here they, and we are, in the city of brotherly love. Angelina has just gotten married, and is about to give the final speech of her career up in a brand new building called Pennsylvania Hall. It was located just two streets away from here, and it's brand new, and it's packed with over 3,000 people, men and women, White people, people of color, all are here for the anti-slavery convention of American women. But outside, angry protesters, they yell, Angelina Grimke Weld, how dare you be here? How dare you speak out against slavery? Chaos erupts outside. Men are shouting inside. Women banging gavels to regain control. There's more shouting outside suddenly. Some stones fly through the windows. In the midst of all of this chaos, Angelina strides up to the podium and says, Friends, what if that mob should now burst in upon us, break up our meeting, and commit violence on our persons? Is that anything compared with what the slaves endure? As she speaks, more stones fly through the windows. People scream, it's chaos. But Angelina holds the podium, and she speaks her mind anyway. Somehow, she finishes her entire speech and the meeting breaks up. The next day, all 3,000 people come back again and things are quieter outside during the day, but at night. The mob returns. They loot Pennsylvania Hall and they burn it to the ground. Just three days after this building's dedication, one day after Angelina spoke there, Pennsylvania Hall lies in ruins. But though that mob destroys a building, it could not destroy the passion for freedom shared by Angelina, Sarah, and so many others. And these women, they spoke up about civil rights, oh yes, but they also spoke up about women's rights at a time where both ideas were new. By speaking their minds, they made a difference. So remember the fiery Grimke sisters, and like them, never be afraid to stand up and speak out about your beliefs once upon a nation.